the phone. Um, I was going to say, can you uh, tell me who you are? Jane Lighty, and I'm um, Woodland Terrace with my husband, Kevin. And can you tell me um, a little bit about what some of your concerns are? It's primarily the reputation, the Facebook scanner page. Um, when the calls go out to Classic Lane, it lists Classic Lane, and they have been adding when it's at Oak Park, but it's become a joke with so many calls, and then the like, comments from people that don't live there are like, what is this Classic Lane? What kind of ghetto is this place? And then they'll post pictures of somebody munching popcorn, just, you know, the, what's it's our entertainment, you know, and the scanner page has 35,000 followers, so that's a, a big problem. There's a lot of people watching it, and... It's embarrassing to say for our tenants that, oh, I live on Classic Lane, and there's also homes out there. So it's our mobile home park and the other homes that are along the way, the homeowners, they're embarrassed too to admit they're on Classic Lane. Mm -hmm. So it's hurting all of us. And, um, so I guess, what would uh, you like to see um, happen? Uh, like the place cleaned up for one thing it's um you know keep the grass mowed uh, i know tonight they mentioned that they had mower issues my husband has mower issues pretty much weekly they don't leave them set for months at a time he's off getting it fixed right away he's got three mowers um and then so that's one thing the garbage leave it you know i guess rather than having garbage blowing all over and and animals getting into it if Kevin sees something on the porch, he takes it down. First, you know, we contact the tenant, hey, take your garbage down, and if they don't, he hauls it down, and we'll tell him, you keep doing this, and we're going to bill you for it. It usually stops after one occurrence. Mm -hmm. So you just stay on top of things. I'd like to see that. Um, the other thing is maybe some screening of his tenants. I know he said he likes to help people and give them second chances. We're more, we'll leave things sit empty until we find a suitable tenant, because we had one... Um, just recently where I know I would get paid because the, it would, the one family member had a very good job. The other one had recent theft charges and then I was concerned that maybe they would be stealing from my other tenants. So I would get my money, but there might be problems for my other tenants and that's one of my concerns. The other thing is we don't run to sex offenders. Um, I want to keep our kids safe out there. And I know he currently has two according to the registry. Um, and their sex offenders are currently not a protected class, so I can say no, he can't come in. That's what I'd like to see, just a little more screening and um, and just clean up the place, make it look nice. Yeah. Is it, um, the township, like, is there anything like their role? Or? The township, um, it was brought up today there's probably there's either two or three non-conforming manufactured homes out there that's against that's a state violation um so they do need to be inspected for safety and electrical and all kinds of things so that's an issue that needs to be addressed so non-conforming homes um i know when we've had empty lots we've had an opportunity to rent to people with an rv we're not licensed for an rv so i have to turn them down so we, Again, I could have the money, but it's not legal. Back in the old days, so. try with the old twisty. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.